This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. First one. Let's go. There's always an extended reading. The link is below. You know, this is either a time of pristine and absolute peace for you because the challenge of the balance between you and the rest of the world and understanding yourself in relation to what you mean for others is exceptionally on point or everything feels like it's crashing down around you. Um, Saturn is where Pluto and, I'm sorry, <laughs> so Aquarius your home is where Pluto and Saturn, both in retrograde, are hanging out. And Saturn is in direct opposition to Leo, your polar opposite energy. Does this mean it's horrendous and horrific and bad? No, no, it just means there's a lot of <sighs> challenges and understanding, understandings of throw back and forth. Picture, picture arguing with the most important person in your life a blow up like like lot like a just a, like a big old blow up this is but it doesn't have to be like an actually explosive argument in your life it's just that's kind of what's popping off inside of you today uh, or in in this energy is this this sense aquarius of well who the f am i in relationship to everybody else and how much do i have to give everybody else versus how much do i have to give myself it is that cosmic war between the house of community and the house of self which is the um the house of leo and the house of aquarius and 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 this is when it's sort of really escalated because saturn is a very strong energy and doesn't like to take no for an answer and leo is a the sun is a very um uh, is a very powerful energy that that wants to be wants to be able to expand and grow and trusted with that expansion and growth. And it's just like, well, how much do I trust? How much do I let go? How much do I retain? How much do I give? How much do I insist on getting? Can I insist on getting? Um, it's a very curious period and I wouldn't be surprised um, if you felt a great deal of exhaustion just because it's like your energies are rolling in your sleep and that doesn't mean that and and i would i would really stay tuned to your dreams because it's sort of nature's way of helping you figure it all out um as curious and wild as the dreams can get focus on the feelings that the dreams create for you um, and then there's a great deal of wisdom that will come from those feelings. The first card that came out is the devil. And that is Capricornian, Saturnian energy. And Saturn is in retrograde in Aquarius. So this is all about the rules, the laws, what I have held onto too much. What, have, what am I afraid to let go of? I think that's the first place along your journey, Aquarius, that you can start is what I am, what am I afraid to lose? What am I afraid to let go of? It's those fears that I have to tackle. And those fears will reveal those parts of me that I really need to understand better, that I need to love better because fear kind of creeps up on us uh, in those places where we're most defensive. So they could be long forgotten places that were just thrown to the dark side and and like think about that energy of I'm gonna like super defensiveness, super protectiveness. Saturn is the house of the father. Saturn is the energy of the father, the great restrictor. And the less confident Saturn feels about something, the more like it will lock down that thing. And I'm not talking about you in particular, but different parts of you or parts of your life. So you really need to, how do you balance out that energy? Fourth house, right? Fourth house energy of the nurturer, the lover, the mother, um, the unconditional. Um, and, and what does that mean? That means you need to unconditionally love those aspects of yourself that cause you the most fear and give, like I can feel, oh my God, I can feel it like inside happening, almost like anxiety attack, almost like, um, I have to breathe through this because it scares me so much. It's those parts of yourself that 
you really have just not wanted to to touch and there are different aspects of your life that will clue you into where those pressure points are say I need money I need money I need money I need money why is that a pressure point where in your life was that a pressure point what did that mean to you understanding all of those aspects and dynamics because that is it's so weak now it, it has most restrictions around it. it has all these crutches around it think of like I think of like Tiny Tim and his, he's, he's just so frail and he needs all this help. It's because we've, we've hated it for so long and we've bastardized it for so long that it's just so weak that it's like this Saturnian energy almost feels entitled to go and attack it with restrictions and protection and fear, which is the greatest defense of all. So it's those things that will be coming up now and in a lot of ways, thank your opposite. Thank your that Leo energy in your life, the sun, because the sun is in Leo now, Mercury is in Leo, all those aspects and dynamics of finally being able to communicate those things about yourself, even if you're breaking down and falling apart while you do it, there that is gonna help you, lead you to the, the conduit of balance. Um, so then we have uh, four of cups. now. Four of Cups is uh, something that you haven't wanted to see or haven't wanted to look at. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of disinterest, but Four of Cups upright is usually saying it's not disinterest. I'm not ready. I'm not prepared to. I'm not prepared to like look at it or see it or 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 talk about it or acknowledge it. I, I I'm not prepared for it yet. It's something that's sitting on the horizon. This comes to you upright. Um, it's almost saying in a lot of ways all of these fears have restricted or made you not interested in either A, you're not interested in looking at these things or seeing these things, or you've always found a good excuse to not look at them, or it's saying that it's restricted you or you're just afraid to look at something that is quite sweet and quite beautiful, but uh, the fear has, has kept you from that. And then we have uh, the lovers is here. Ooh, Gemini energy, which is quite, um, compatible with your energy um Aquarius and ooh, okay so what does this mean um this the moon is in Gemini as I'm talking to as I'm recording this and um that is very open lines of communication not wanting to be restricted basically the expose remember Gemini is is yes the moon is in Gemini but Gemini energy is always ruled by Mercury which is right now working through the self so there's a sense of I need to communicate who I am I need to assert who I am I need to uh especially Aquarius I need to assert who I am I need to show who I am I need to 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 break away from what I need to do for everybody else and just focus right now on who the hell am I and what are not even just like this is me no it's it's about those parts of myself that I've been more than happy to slice off and let bleed in a corner because they were uncomfortable for everybody else it's those things that is really like coming out and you're starting to see the beauty and power in them um now of course it could literally mean this is a time when a love a love in your life either love is coming into your life or you're starting to love yourself in different ways um because the two halves of Gemini, of course, Gemini as a whole. Gemini is not two halves, but they're split into two distinct personalities, but that still is the whole. So it could be just you, this is your pathway to a more completeness, a wholeness, or that there is a human in your life that is responsible for being your tether to completeness and wholeness. And you've learned that, you know what? <laughs> It's okay to be in need of somebody else. It's okay to be, to, to, to want, not only want another person in your life, but also to depend on them and know, you know what, they make up for things that I don't have. As long as it's a secure, healthy partnership and coming upright, it is. This just means that it's cosmically yours. It was given to you to help you. Help you what? Help you be your best self help you live your best life. And and you know that. And it's almost like, I, yeah, I mean, I, 
I wouldn't be this person that I, I love or I wouldn't have the strength to face those aspects of myself um, that I don't love so much if it weren't for this other human in my life. Um, so it could be that just that just happiness and understanding in that, no, I actually do need somebody else in my life. I'm not even gonna, you know, um, I'm not even gonna try to uh, try to pretend that I don't. And in doing that, and no, this is not a romance reading, but um, if especially if you've been single a long time, if you've been uh, worried about being vulnerable for a long time, there's an opening. There's an opening. And so this is a really great time. I'm just going to say it, Aquarius. This is a really great time to fall in love because it's a really humble time when you realize, shit, I don't want to do this all by myself. And I actually do want to like to have somebody in my life and, and I need their help. And I'm not even afraid to say that I do. So that's that's when we open ourselves up for connection. Ah, the Ten of Pentacles, which is a very good sign. So there's a lot of... Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about this in terms of 3D resources, bountifulness um, in these decisions and these this journey that you're going through in this energy um, could be actual money that's being made or opportunity for money to come into your life because uh, that's certainly the Ten of Pentacles, of course. But of course, the Ten of Pentacles, if you look at the imagery, on, if you remember the imagery on the original traditional tarot deck, um, it's, it's, it's a family, really. It's, it's dogs, it's a grandfather figure, it's a younger couple in the back. It's sort of like, it's sort of like making, busting out generationally, making, making the fortune for each generation and being that connection spot between the past, present and the future of, of now I've sort of like, kind of like cleared out or expanded my family's karmic profile. You know, it's, it's almost like a, a fulfillment of, um, a fulfillment of all tasks assigned to us. And so it's kind of like the big old payday of just of happiness. So it's not just resources, it's a, it's happiness. It's abundance, it's togetherness, and it's happiness in togetherness. And what that means right now, Aquarius, is it's happiness and togetherness through um, just a, being a better version of you. Um, and then we have the 10, the wheel wheels this is another 10 um so things are changing for you karmically and it's a karmic fulfillment um which means good stuff is happening because it's kind of like the rewards that come after you've finished the work you finished the job but you haven't just finished the job you kind of upped the level you've kind of upped the ante <laughs> so there's just this essence of appreciation of the moment appreciation of the opportunity appreciation because you know what i feel appreciated i actually feel that people i i'm seeing the validation come back and no 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 we don't do things for validation um and if us i'll let you know this right now had you been inspired to do all of these things and make all these changes simply for validation you would not be experiencing the level of success that you're getting back from this. This means that you followed your heart. Karma, this motherfucker right here, only rewards you when you follow your heart. It, there's no other way. There's really no other way. <laughs> Karma, uh, like, like, he's not a nice, let's look at, he's not a nice guy, right? So, um, I, I, and I say he because Saturn, Saturnian energy. Um, he, he, he doesn't just get, he's not a Mr. Handout thing. You know, he's just, he's just not. So the only ways that you'll be bountiful are the ways that, holy crap, no matter what he did, no matter what he tried to do to restrict you, you stayed in your God space. And you, you please know God in whatever way you understand or know God. I'm not trying to preach a Bible to you or any religion. I'm just saying you stayed in your truth and your heart space. And that's why this reflects a karmic kind of benchmark or a complete fulfillment because you are in the God space now. Leo, the sun, which is direct opposition, of course. Saturn is checking in. Saturn is in Aquarius and saying, how is Aquarius done? Have they, have they been true to themselves? 
have they have they been able to balance how much they give how much they are who they are who they want to be who they know they are and who they share versus you know what they will show to the world have they been able to be true to their their purpose in life rather than kind of defer to what everybody else wants them to be or intentionally um oppose what everybody else wants them to be which is sort of Aquarius's um default Aquarius's default is I'm just not going to be anything that the crowd wants me to be I'm going to go ex I'm going to rebel because you know it's that Uranian energy of of uh, I'm going to rebel I'm going to do things different I'm going to I'm going to be my own person but this is the realization the actualization of the real self the true self that isn't influenced by the need to fit in and is not influenced by the need to stand out is just influenced by truth because that's how you really stand out and that's how you're really unique because remember i'm not going to do it because everybody else is doing it that's just as influenced by the crowd as i'm going to do it because everybody else is doing it it's not like people think they're rebelling they're not they're they're, they're still letting the crowd make decisions for them this is that truth space what i call the god space aquarius of um of of when you're just like it's not about the crowd it's not about them at all it's about i've had the courage to listen to even those parts of me that scare me and here here it is like this is my divine uh purpose right this is my purpose in life aquarians have a struggle constantly with letting what's out there the crowd impact them too much usually in that well i'll do it i'll do things differently kind of way but it's just not about that is it it's really really true balanced aquarian energy is about the greater good the greater good through individual understanding and responsibility not uh disregarding it or or um uh, putting because i mean think of i didn't i didn't make this up guys uh i think of socrates think of plato and the republic i i always remember that lesson and i thought it was an exceptional lesson <laughs> if you read the republic you'll see that the conclusion they come to after these oh socrates drove me crazy because there was always a why there was always a why there was always a why and if you've taken a philosophy class you know there is always a why there's always another question and it's just what those questions the thoughts the questions inspire that is why philosophy is so valuable and but then they actually came to a conclusion a just society which is aquarian energy is founded upon a just the just individual which is leo energy and that is that cosmic ugh, balance and battle that you're that the cosmos is raging in right now so personally there can be a lot of like tumultuous energy that's floating around you right now in order to bang out all those aspects that are not real and to crack open the cages of all those aspects of you that are real that were maybe put aside because there's there's fear involved the fear is um, excuse me i'm sorry oh allergies um a uh, fear is that greatest um of captors and limiters and that's why um we have that energy attached to saturn because he really that saturnian energy really does work in limitations and fear and that's why it's a malefic energy as opposed to a benefic energy because it it takes and restricts and limits and it threatens as opposed to nurtures and gives and heals and and but i have to say the cosmic balance is it we need them both so look at those aspects of yourself in this energy that restrict you or that you feel restrict you that you feel aren't aren't good enough or you know and that maybe you haven't wanted to even look at you haven't been interested in in looking at because like why would i because they're still a part of you and they're 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 still a part of you 
and something something needs love right now and it can be that somebody else outside of you is that person that can sh that will show you love and show love to those aspects and dynamics of you that you are most afraid of and that is actually what inspires this togetherness and this abundance and prosperity through connection um, I'm going to continue this reading over in the extended. I hope that you'll join me. The link is below. Thank you, Aquarius.